Welcome back fellow web creators and entrepreneurs. In this video I'm going to cover how to animate lines like this and this in Adobe Premiere. <laughs> to begin let's go up to File, New and select Legacy Title. In the Title Designer select the Line Tool and while holding down the Shift key click and drag to create a straight line. Increase the line width to about 20 to make it a little bit thicker. When you're done, close the window. Now, drag your new title from the project bin onto your timeline. There are several ways to animate lines, but let's start with the easiest way, which is expanding from the middle, like this. Select the title on your timeline and head over to Effect Controls. Under Motion, uncheck the Uniform Scale checkbox, then move the time marker to the start of the clip. Drop the scale's width to zero and click the stopwatch to create a starting keyframe. Reposition the time marker to where you want the animation to end, then change the scale value to 100. Now, when you play back your footage, the line will animate upwards from its center. But let's undo this change and show you how to animate the line from the left to the right or vice versa. Go down to the effects panel, type crop into the search box and drag the effect onto your title. Now, head up to the effect controls, position your time marker at the start of the clip, select the crop effect so that you can see its bounding handles. Move over to the preview window, using the center handle on the right hand side, drag the boundary left so it lines up with the left side of your line completely hiding it. Now, click the stopwatch next to the right value, and this will create a starting keyframe. Reposition the time marker to where you want the animation to end, then click the crop effect again so that you can see its bounding handles. Drag the center right handle to the rightmost point of your line, revealing your line once again. This will automatically create an ending keyframe. Now you have a line being animated from left to right. It works exactly the same way from right to left or top to bottom. To give your animation that extra little bit of polish, drag select or shift select all keyframes. Then right click any one of them and choose Auto Bezier or Ease In, Ease Out. Now play back your animation and you'll notice it has a more professional looking softness to the start and the end of the animation. And that's it for this tutorial. I hope you learned something new. Thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you again soon.